The next lesson we're going to do is on levels, which is one of the more important tools in Photoshop and one of the tools that put Photoshop on the map. So you've got your um, freshly downloaded enhance, or truck picture and we click on enhance and go to adjust lighting and go to levels. And I'll do a little explanation on this level stuff. Well, the major part of this is this graph. And this graph shows uh, an an analysis of the picture. This is the dark portion of the picture and over here is to the white. This is black, so the black point, that's a term, and the white point, and in the middle is the gray point. And down here, we have these little sliders, these little adjusters, that you can drag around, just like we did in, in uh, brightness and contrast. Over on the right here, we have cancel, reset and auto. I'm just going to reset this. Now our picture really doesn't have much black, real black. If it did, this this black stuff over here would be over here. And we really don't have any white stuff. So this picture needs a little help. The traditional thing to do is to grab this, the black point, and drag it over to where the slope starts starts going up very quickly and we're gonna grab the white point and drag it over to where the slope starts going up again and we'll see I'm gonna reset this and zoom out and drag this over to the side and let you see the results here so I'm gonna drag this over to the slower the slope starts and drag this one over to where the slope starts and you see the picture looks much better you can try dragging the gray point around but in this picture it doesn't really need it but if you want to get certain tones with a picture you can certainly play with it now I would use this tool on a lot of different pictures uh, you need to play with this tool, get used to it, because it's very important. It's going to be one of the tools that you use the most in Photoshop. Um, use it on different pictures, on uh, all sorts of things. Try it in different environments. When you kind of got the picture the way you want it to look, and you click on OK, and you're good to go. For our purposes, I'm going to revert. And we're going to try the next thing.